All right, people, this is Tic-Tac-Toe tic champion quality information right here. You'll never lose a game if you play by these rules. This is everything you need to know about Tic-Tac-Toe. First, you're either going first or second. Um, actually, there's one other thing that you'll need to know, and is if, if you don't go first and they don't pick the middle, and I'll do that video next. But this is assuming you go first or you go second and they pick the middle. You're guaranteeing yourself at least a stalemate, and if you're going first, you're probably going to win. So give it a try. First off, if you're going first, always pick the middle. If they choose a side, it's o over a corner, you win. And so basically, if they choose something like on top of the on top of it um, to the left of it to the right of it or beneath it then you would win and so I did a small example of what that looks like basically I'd place my X next to theirs and then it would create a three in a row they would have to block that and when they block that it doesn't set up a thing that I have to block but I'm able to place that X right below next to both of them and it sets two ways I can win and so I automatically win if they choose a side after you you choose the middle you're guaranteed to win just drop your symbol right next to theirs and it's over now if they choose a corner you don't guarantee to win but they you get a very wide chance of winning and so here's the deal there's a bunch of different things that you we could do with our x and i played them all out they're not good the only play that you want to play is if they play a corner you want to block even though it doesn't set you up for anything, you basically want to go opposite angle that they played. And when you go the opposite angle that they played, they're going to be left with a certain amount of options, right? And so those six options are right here. They could play it on the top above our middle place. They could play it to the right. And then they could play it to beneath their O and try to set up a three in a row. They could set it up at the bottom beneath the O and set up the middle one for the win. And then they could set up below the middle X, and then they could set up to the right of the middle X. Now, if they set up to the above your middle X, right next to theirs, as soon as you block them off, you now ha can win in a diagonal way and also up and down. And so you would win if they played that circle right there. If they play the circle above your X and to the the diagonal of your x so basically as close to both your x's but on a diagonal plateau either side so if you look at the second one or if you look at the fourth one they're playing both diagonals both of those will lead to a stalemate anything other than both those diagonals though you get the same event where you set up a block on them that ends up letting you win guaranteed and so you can basically trap them by playing this way. Never play tic-tac-toe any other way. Otherwise, you're just not trying to win.